Eleven years ago, Noah Wiley took on the role of a lifetime playing John Carter, an inexperienced medical student, on ER. The show went on to become the most nominated primetime drama of all time. And tonight, on the season finale, Dr. Carter checks out of County General Hospital, kind of for the last time. Noah Wiley, good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Kind man. of, because while this is really your last full season... This is the last season where I'll be a series regular. Last time I'll be in the titles and on the poster. But I've agreed to do eight more performances over the next two years. I, I love the story that in 1994... You were basically getting ready to wait tables again, yes. all right? And, and here comes this role to play John Carter on ER, and you initially balked at it because they wanted you to sign up for five years. Yes, I was really, I met with my first agent and told her that I had only interest in being in films and on plays, and that television was not something that was uh, for me, and I didn't want to sign a five-year contract to anything. And As it the, turns uh, out, five years, you were just getting warmed up yeah, for this yeah. show. What has kept your interest over the 11 years? Uh, I just find the, the character fascinating, and uh, you know, after a while, I'm sure you can relate to this. You work with the same people in a very close environment for long yes. enough, you become very much like a family. So the people—that's uh, the good news the and role, the bad news. And, the bad news. <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, the money's good. You, you never complain about that. No. Over the eleven seasons, when you look back, I mean, there have been a lot of storylines involving all the characters, but your character in particular. If you look back, not to upset anybody, is there one storyline that stands out where you go, I wish we hadn't done that? I wish we hadn't done hadn't that? Done that. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few times where I think we proverbially jumped the shark. Yeah. Uh, there was one instance in particular that I, it's the only time I ever had crosswords with our executive producer, John Wells, where he had me... Uh, and Kelly Martin in a rather compromising position in the hospital, which I thought was slightly unethical for the character. Uh, and w the compromise was that we sort of had a little make-out session, but I wish we hadn't done it. <laughs> it was not as, as flagrant as what he intended. Not as flagrant as what he had intended. How about exit strategies? Over the years, have you thought about the way you... I know you like this storyline, the I Africa storyline, and you and your girlfriend moved to Africa. But have you thought of other exit strategies, ways to get out of the show? Uh, I have, yeah, not... Not seriously. I, this is really... The clock started ticking on me thinking that I wanted to leave about two years ago when my son was born. And I realized that spending 85 hours a week in a soundstage is probably not the best way to parent. Uh, and that sort of coincided with the Africa storyline that we did uh, a year and a half ago, which I thought was one of the most rewarding storylines that I've been a part of on the show. So the fact that this exit storyline is a continuation of that and the eight performances that I'll give in the future will be a continuation of that, I think is uh, perfectly in keeping with the trajectory of the character. That in tonight's season finale, uh, I want to run a little clip. This is where you find a letter and you read the letter that you wrote when you first started your residency. That's right. So take a look. You see, when you were an intern under Dr. Green, he would have everybody write a letter to themselves that they wouldn't open until their very last day of residency. So that's your letter to yourself? What does it say? It says that I'm scared and that I know I have a, a lot to learn and I hope I learn it quickly and that I pray to God that I don't kill anybody. Hmm. It's a good letter. It's a good letter. Over the years, so many other medical shows have come along. So much imitation. Um, have you watched those? Quite a few of them, yeah. Yeah, uh, you, and it doesn't... I mean, competitively, how do you think ER stacked up? Uh, I think very well. I think in a lot of ways, we initiated a style that has been picked up maybe even better uh, by other shows. And uh, ER is sort of metamorphosized away from what it was in the beginning. Uh, but... You know, medical dramas in general, I think, will always be popular. They deal with the great themes of life and uh, tap into an innate curiosity I think most people have about hospitals and healthcare in general. Uh, I love when I walked up here to the set to, to greet Noah. I said, so what else is happening? He said, you know what? New beginning, new start, clean slate. Clean slate. Yeah. And a new baby on the way. Uh, that's actually what I'm most looking forward to, as you can well imagine, that... Uh, in the fall, when I should be back to work and I'm wondering why I'm not, I'll have something to fill that void. 
Yeah, good luck. And, and congratulations on 11 amazing seasons and, and continued success. Noah, it's been fun to have you here. Likewise. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.